this is Michelle I am the baby witch del tarot and today I'm coming back with your reading sorry that I've been so absent on my channel I had been sick and I couldn't upload for a while but here I am I'm back and ready so with that said let's take a look at what the universe has for you before anything just remember that my readings have no date they are divinely guided and everything has free will so whenever you saw the mes message <clears throat> sorry it was the day that you needed to see it and yeah and also not everything's gonna resonate with everybody so please if it doesn't just let it go if it does like and subscribe please so with that said let's take a look at what um leo has to see or has to know let's take a look thank you spirit we got the nine of wands and the empress mm, you're done done with the suffering we got the Four of Swords. We got the Ace of uh, Cups. Thank you, Spirit. And we got the Hangman in Reverse. At the bottom of the deck, we got the King of Swords. Okay. So somebody never... I feel like somebody just waited for too long and never did anything. I feel like somebody that you care for uh, never made a move. They just waited and waited and waited. And I feel you got tired of waiting. I feel like you have a lot of hopes, a lot of desire of being with this person. But, like, you're like, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm done waiting for them. Like, they have their chance, man, and they didn't take it. So, I feel like you're, like, done with the waiting stages, you know? With the Empress card right here, you have been taking care of yourself. Uh, more, like, self-love. Putting your um, new beginnings and, like, all your focus is in yourself. Also, it can mean that you are... Uh, a mom or you could get like right now regardless of who you are with you your fertility like you could be pregnant or get pregnant so just that is a side note okay so if you're uh, sexually active with it's your life I don't really need to know just be careful because you want you might want to be careful because you might get pregnant hopefully not if you don't want to but if you want to now you know Either way, Leo, we got the Four of Swords and the Ace of Cups right here. It's like you've been trying a lot to find your happiness to fulfill your, your needs, you know? And I'm not talking about just sexual needs. I'm talking about your emotional needs. And I think whenever this ended, you decided to do that on your own because you felt like, you know what? If nobody, if they're not going to give it to me or if nobody else is going to give it to me, I might as well just do it for myself, you know? And it's like you now you see things from a different perspective. I feel like you are more comfortable in the uncomfortable situations. And it's like you can take anything now. Like you're like, you're like, I've been through fire and I didn't burn. So, you know, mine as well is just like, keep on going you're like the phoenix you know you just like um grew like from the ashes you rise you know so it's like now you see everything on a different perspective i also see like you had like a spiritual awakening so now everything has like meaning like the number i feel like you might be might be seeing like numbers repetitive numbers like four 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 five 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 three 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 eleven eleven it's just uh those are messages from your angels and your guys that everything's gonna be okay and also you're more than welcome to look at those numbers whenever you see that it's like a straight up message okay so i also hear that for whoever is having that spiritual awakening you might be waking up at two in the morning it could be one two three and four in the morning uh just so you know what's next for leo what's next for leo because i feel like you're done with this person so i want to see what's next for you what's next for leo we got the chariot card right here oh boy somebody's coming back leo always always look look at that so this is the person that Of course, like now that you're gone, they miss you. Oh boy, look at that. They're coming back because they're like, I miss you. I'm sorry. I want to put the effort because like now they realize that they miss you. Now they realize that they love you and they want you back. Whoever you walked away from and now that you're fine and, made, and probably completely healed for some of you, um, they want you back now. And I feel like you might be like confused. You might be like, I'm not sure if I want them back now. Because, you know, it took you so freaking long and so freaking much to heal and get better that you might not want them back, you know. And at the time, it's like they didn't realize, but, but the walking away or the 
trying to find different arms and they couldn't find one they had with you now they know and they realize like damn i had a good person with me like now i know because i feel like they can't stop thinking about you Whew, what about this lovers and not understanding what they have when they had it you know so either way somebody's coming back wanting a second chance and it's like they're willing to like make them like make you take them back it's like it's like they want to make you take them back kind of you know it's like they're not backing down they're like in the like uh when they're going to war like no i'm like i'm going to conquer this person again so they're like really really focused in like getting you back just so you know so it might even feel annoying because for whoever of you is like whenever if you're over this person it's gonna feel annoying whoever is not over this person yet it's gonna feel confusing, you know, because you're like trying but not really there. So it's gonna be an uh, interesting ride for whoever is not over this person. Again, for whoever it is, it's gonna be annoying. And I'm sorry, just like block them and just walk away from them and keep on running because <laughs> they're like running towards you. So with the Page of Wands and the Emperor card, I feel like for some of you, you don't decide, you don't decide to be with this person no more. I feel you're not even attracted to them no more, and I feel like they don't get that. Some of them, they don't get that. This is like a weird ex that doesn't take a no for an answer. Like, come on, boy. Come on, girl. Like, if we don't work, we don't work, you know? So whoever is not wanting this to happen, unfortunately, somebody's coming back. But again, I don't see, for most of you, I don't see you guys taking them back. Because the Leo energy, and this we got, uh, just so you know, another Leo for some of you. Capricorn, Gemini, um some like Aries and or Virgo and some water sign it could be Pisces Cancer Scorpio or so just so you know but either way it's like you got for Leo's whenever they're done when Leo's are done with somebody they get petty and they go like I'm done with you I don't want you so um I feel like some of you are gonna be mean with this person because it's not like you want to be mean it's like you've been telling them or you're gonna be telling them I'm done with you I don't want anything with you but they don't take the the message so I feel like it's gonna be like annoyed like you're gonna feel annoyed by the idea of like having to repeat yourself like i'm done i don't want this you know because you're like moved on and it's not like you have another person here it's like you are fine with being with yourself like you're focusing yourself you're healing yourself maybe you're putting effort into your career or into other things you know and you're like just done with this person you're like i'm not i'm not interested in you bro like leave me alone you know again this person is like, no, you still love me. We still have something. And you're like, uh, no, I don't love you. Like, whatever we had it, we had it. Like, it's like they're not understanding that you guys had a good ride and things did not went out well and you're done. And this person's like coming back and like, no, you love me. Give me a chance. It's like, for some of you, again, you have to work on that because this person is like not taking a no for an answer. Like, come on. What is the outcome for Leo in the situation? What is the outcome with Leo in the situation? <laughs> I think you're going to put a stop into this. Because this is most for whoever is not taking them back. Yeah, you're not taking them back. You're like, no. Like, you, yeah, they're going to still put in, put in the effort, but you're going to stop. But you'll be like, no, no, thank you. Like, we're done. We're done, my friend. And it's like... You're going to be straightforward. Like, that, that's you, Leo, now. And be like, hey, I'm working on myself. I'm putting effort into myself. And I don't have time for you. So please leave before I lash on you. You know, because I feel like you're trying to be polite. Because you're, for some of you are trying or going into the spiritual path. And you're trying to, like, go with your higher self. And try to, like, find the right words to, like, not lash out. But this person is going to try you. Because you're going to be like... I'm done with you. This is not gonna go anywhere. Like you're trying to be really polite, but you're not. You're not taking it back. Like you're like, no, I don't care about this connection. Like we we we're done. And it's like you're gonna try to find the inner peace that you have, cause it's gonna take a lot of strength and a lot of, of your energies to push them away. Cause you know when somebody's like determined to like get you back even though that you don't want them back that is the energy that they're in right now so it's gonna take you telling you right right now that if you feel like it's too draining just block them stay away from them and try to focus on yourself and look the other way because again i don't see them understanding the words that are coming out of your mouth when you say it's over so it's gonna take a lot of like you pulling yourself away 
from them. Not hiding, though, but, like, just withdrawing from them. Like, not giving them any sort of attention, you know? Ignoring them until they get bored, <laughs> pretty much, you know? So, good luck with that, Leo. But everything else, I see you doing well. Like, you're working on yourself. Um, maybe you are a beauty influencer into makeup. And that is actually taking off or you're trying to get a career in the beauty industry because the empress is also somebody so beautiful that is um for me you know and somebody that's taking care of themselves so i feel like you're going to the gym more dressing nicely not for somebody else but for yourself maybe you're like doing your hair and your makeup you know something like that it's like you're feeling yourself you know and it's a beautiful energy that's why they want you back there because they like no they're happy i need them back and you go like no bro i'm here and I'm like this because I let you go. So, yeah. Oh, damn exes. Anyways, Leo, let's see what your angels want you to know. Let's see what the message is from your angels. <laughs> unlikely. What was, what was I saying? It's like unlikely. You're unlikely to take them back. That's such a Leo energy. Like, unlikely. Recovery. You're healing from them. Like, you're like completely either or towards the end of the recovery or just like you're done did you like no I, unlikely for you to take them back because you're recovered from them you know remain positive right here just remain positive you know things are gonna turn out fine and look peaceful resolution right here for you and look at that one i have another one within the next few months so if you're working on a project if you're working on something special that has nothing to do with uh love or anything you're gonna see the results in uh, within a few months from now so keep on the good work okay because you're doing great though you're doing amazing and let's see what i'm gonna try to give you a number and this number you gotta just to go to google or anywhere that you can find the meaning of not the number that i'm gonna give you this number is given by you to you by your ancestors by your angels by your spiritual guides this is the spiritual meaning of this number okay that's what you need to look for okay thank you spirit oh you got two numbers you got number three and number two okay number three number tres and number two numero dos and let's see what else i can give you thank you spirit So this is um, a message from the Bible. So whoever does believe in the Bible or so, this is a message from you. I mean, for you. You got Colossians 323. I'm going to try to go as close as I can to the camera. So if you're not into Bible or anything like that, just let that go. Just stick with the number, okay? But either way, I want to thank you guys for watching the video I hope this hat resonated with you. Uh, thanks for waiting for me. I know I've been gone for a while, but please like and subscribe. And I'm coming back every week with videos, okay? So thank you so very much. Bless be and bye.